Hi guys! I will welcome you to our week 6 in learning Arduino Robotics as one of your electives in your class. So for this week, we will be learning two parts. Uh, we will be learning first the potentiometer and lastly, we will be learning about the 7 segment. So for the potentiometer, um, I will show you um, two examples or two projects so that um, you will be able to know what's the purpose or what's the essence in using potentiometer in your circuit board or in your development board. Okay, so let's get started. First, we need to define first what is a potentiometer. If we will talk about potentiometer, it is a three terminal resistor with a sliding or rotating contact that forms an adjustable um, voltage divider. So if you can see, one moment, mm -hmm. if you can see we have um, three pins or three terminal resistor, this will basically will help us, um, th the first here on the left side, it's the negative one, the right side is the positive one, left, right, and the middle part, this is where we will insert our digital pin okay no sorry it is an analog pin right now it is not a digital pin okay also you can see here this is the symbol in potentiometer so please take note on that one guys okay if only two terminals are used one end and the wiper it acts as a variable resistor or a rheostat but um in Tinkercad, uh, we are actually using um, three pins. So uh, we will just focus on um, these um, um, on these examples. Okay, so let's start creating our first project or our I don't know. This is the project number four that we had. Yeah, this is the project number four. We need these materials, so we need to have a breadboard, um, Arduino, uh, Arduino Uno microcontroller. Uh, we also need to have five connecting wires and also a potentiometer. So since this is our main um, topic for um, for this week. So let me share with you guys my Google Chrome. Okay, so let me create a new circuit. One moment. It's loading. okay let's be patient uh, let, sorry let's be patient regarding with this one patience <laughs> okay so let me go ahead and look for arduino oh god no i will be using this there okay next one i'll be deleting this one just like what i did with the previous a video lecture one moment mm -hmm. okay next one okay there you go so let me arrange this one first one moment okay there so now let me go ahead and start um okay for our first project you've noticed in our presentation that we will be only using um four um, materials or equipment um, from the breadboard going to potentiometer so first thing that we need to do we need to have a connection from the ground um, of the arduino going to the negative Pole. so I will be changing this one to black okay one moment there next I should have a positive charge coming from the 5 volts one moment going there one moment guys and I will be changing this one to red okay so since I'm done with that I'll go ahead and insert my potentiometer. Let me go 
here. Okay, so you've noticed that we have three pins. This is for the terminal one, the wiper, and also the terminal two. The wiper, which is the middle one, um, you need to put your analog pin here. Okay, the terminal one, it could it, it could be the negative or it could be the positive charge. Uh, let me rotate this one first. Okay, then I will be inserting this one here okay no let me put it back or here let me go down okay so right now so after that let me go ahead and create a connection from the negative charge from the negative pole going here okay so i'll be changing this one to black for me to know if this is a negative or a positive charge there positive charge here uh, by the way guys you can also use um, um, a resistor for this one it really depends on you since we don't have any lead yet but for now um, no need for us to create or to use a resistor later on in our next project um, since we're still talking about the potentiometer I'll be inserting a lead light so we need to have a resistor okay so let's go back um, I'll be changing this one to red for me to know this is a positive charge and there should be a connection from the AO here here guys you have all the analog pins here here are all the positive or digital and hybrid pins so I will be inserting the AO one moment. AO meaning this is the analog zero. Okay, one moment. Almost there. Okay, so since I'm done with all of my connections, let me go ahead and code it. So in the coding part, one moment. Mm-hmm be changing this one to text okay let me okay first thing that I need to do guys I need to create a variable for my um, potentiometer so in potentiometer for example um, AO since this is the pen that I use in the Arduino board or in the Arduino Uno microcontroller board then int val equals to zero you will know the purpose of this one later on next um, I will not be using the pin mode since um, there there is no um, lead light that I use but I'll go ahead and start using the serial dot begin um, take note guys that I'm using the serial that begin if you want to see the serial monitor okay so later on here in this part guys you can see the serial monitor this is actually um, this serve as your um, displaying so in programming it deba right? in using Java or in using um, IntelliJ before in our uh, in the last uh, in the last semester um, I know that um, you're familiar with the terminal or the um, the part where the output displayed also here in Tinkercad or if you will use the Arduino IDE in your computer um, you will know um, you will um, you will be able to um, see what's the purpose of the serial monitor all of the displays needed from your program it will be displayed here but let me go ahead and continue this one okay after that I need to go ahead and for example I'm serial dot print ln I know that you're familiar with the print ln then serial connection established then I'll go in slash n the meaning of the slash n of course it will create a new 
um, a new line or a next line so after that I'll go ahead here um, ah, one moment okay I'll just go ahead and put that one slash n it will show the uh, the value of val here okay and I forgot to close by um, close the asterisk okay there you go next so in the loop part let me erase that so in the loop part I'll go ahead and put the um, serial dot print oh, sorry the purpose of this one it's to oh yeah it's already here but it's okay um, that, no need for me to put this one along I will just put it here so in this side I'll put here um, potentiometer value there after that I need to call the val or in the first place you can actually um, assign the val to analog analog read meaning you are getting um, you are reading or getting the input coming from the potentiometer so you are reading the potentiometer value and you are transferring it to our val variable okay next after that, I'll go ahead and put the serial dot um, print ln. Then all I need to do is just to call the value val. After I need to put add some delay so that um, it's not too fast. Okay, here. So since I'm done coding this one, let me go ahead and start simulating it. So when I click start simulation, okay, no bugs, um, no error. Let me go ahead and open my serial monitor so that you will know what's the purpose of the serial monitor. There, you will see something like this. So it, meaning it's still waiting for an input coming from the potentiometer. So all I need to do now is to adjust this there so it's changing right so what is the maximum value of the potentiometer it's actually one zero two three okay like that you'll notice that oh, there oh, there's a delay of um, 100 milliseconds there it's actually changing okay we're good with this okay so let me stop simulating it and I think we can proceed right now to our next example and yeah let me cut this video and let me continue with the next one